Ladies and gentlemen, it is another lovely day in the city of Windsor on the campus of St. Clair College, and we have an awesome day of esports lined up for you. We have the St. Clair Saints Varsity Call of Duty team versus Nichols State University, also known as the Colonel's Esports in the NACE Varsity Premier League. Uh, you might have seen me before, but if you are new to the stream, my name is Daniil, also known as Better Smiggy, and I'm joined by the one and only. Go ahead, introduce yourself. This is just yours. Of course. Absolutely. The Call of Duty team, they always deliver something. It's either... I gotta be honest. Our Call of Duty team is really top of the line. It's either very one-sided or sometimes they deliver some nail biters. Usually they still come out on top, but anything can happen, especially in a league this prestigious. Nace Varsity Premier League always has the best of the best competing. So... Based off of the team that we're playing against today, Colonels Esports, it really could go any way. I'm confident that the Saints have it, but what are your thoughts? Well, you know, St. Clair College, they are the national... Call of Duty champions. How could you forget? So, a little bit of a title to be carrying into them uh, for there, but Nichols, you know, can't say anything bad about them. You know, they Absolutely. have they have a big fight ahead of them, but... Could be a good one, especially with it being a best three out of five. So we're going to be seeing a lot of different game modes, a lot of different map, or actually, I believe only a couple different maps today. We'll be starting out on Terminal, a classic. Absolutely. So you even knew the maps ahead of time. Very well prepared of you. Oh, good uh, stuff. Good oh, stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And but, then, mm -hmm. and then we'll be moving on to some takeover. I believe it's called, or yeah. And then if we do make it to a nice game five, we'll be seeing Karachi oh, look as at that. that. Sorry, deciding. look at that turn oh. around, wink, smile. That was beautiful. They know. Classic. They know. Hi, Brandon. Hi. Everybody here loves Brandon. Uh, the gentleman is just waving at us. A big figure on the campus. Loves to show support to everybody around, especially in the Nexus. You can always rely on him to get stuff done. And there's Zarin, of course. Everybody's favorite dude. Absolutely. I dude. I say, I say hi to him. That is our Call of Duty coach, but I believe he is going to be stepping into play. Really? today uh so we should have a very fun and interesting match ahead of us you know the master is gonna step in with the students and show them how it's done absolutely based on the jerseys you're seeing you might notice that there's some academy colors mm -hmm. going on i i've heard some people talking it's i haven't touched base with the call of duty team myself recently but i think that we've had some of the academy players actually step up to the varsity team yep. over the last semester to fill in some gaps so uh, some players proving mm -hmm. their worth proving that they got what it takes to play with the big boys so to speak so i'm excited to see what they got for us in the store today absolutely and before they know it they'll probably be repping the green soon but <laughs> before we get anywhere today we are going to take a look at our rosters here so as we said before we got zarin kbz relazed and brandon on the side of the saints and for the side of the colonel esports we've got cmac mark caps kraz and wasayan and they've got an awesome coach there stunna who I'm sure will be in their ear just as much as Zarin's in the ears of and, our boys here, and just as much as we're in your ears. <laughs> Again, we're be, we're giving we're being given the absolute pleasure of bringing this action mm. to you tonight. But before we throw it to a quick break, because as you saw, the players are still getting ready, still warming up. I believe they just <laughs> even hopped out of a scrim, so you know. Action is a little bit of a ways away, but not too far. So don't go too far when we do throw it to a break. But just before we get into the action tonight, anything, any predictions, score lines you're seeing in your head conjured up from the spirits beyond? You know, I definitely see the St. Clair College taking the dub today. Absolutely. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a fight, though. I'm not going to say a clean sweep 3-0. I'll not. give Nichols the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to say 3-1. Okay, I could see that. In fact, that was what I was going to. Probably 3-1. I know that the Saints love to do nail biters on the yeah. control points game mode. Yep. So a hard point they call it in yep. this game. I'm I'm a Halo guy. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I just call it control point. But at the end of the day, hard point is where dreams are made of or mm -hmm. where dreams go to die. But with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna throw it to a quick break and we hope to see you guys very soon for game one. Thank you. 
Hello and welcome back everybody as we get underway into our first game of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 here. As said before, we are starting out on Hardpoint with Terminal as the map, a classic map. Um, and first to 250 here to determine the first game. Um, looks like we might be having a little trouble here, but we can see a little bit. Engine. There we go. There it clears is. Up. We can see now as we get underway, the action is just beginning. And Nick will take to start off by taking this part of the hard point. We're actually going to grab a couple points here, but as it gets contested now, KB coming in with a slick kill to give St. Clair College a little bit of a chance to get onto the point. I'm sure, the pressure is definitely mounted on now. 12 points already, but still contested. Going down, Brandon tries to make a safe, like it's third base, sliding in. It goes down, but now it's cleared up. Now, not just Leah is taking the point. They're racking up the points for the St. Clair Saints, but again, only a matter of time before things switch up. The Saints are going to have to do some work to make sure that they can do the, the preparation to make sure that the next hard point is there. KB is going to go down in a firefight on the train. Like I said, this is a classic map. I remember spending my time on Xbox 6 and taking out Terminal, trying to do hick dot trick shots. I never really got any, though. But as this hard point dwindles away, it's only a matter of time before the action picks up once again. Absolutely, and you can see both teams here already considering about the rotation. The super big thing in hard point here, being ready for the next point, but also wanting to maintain the current hard point and get as many points as possible. As we can see, St. Clair College taking a big lead, or starting to build up a big lead now, 36 to 23, and climbing as the hard point is going to change and go back over to Nichols' favor as they were able to rotate there first. Shark getting a couple of kills there. Going off on Slaya, um, and he's going to be able to find a triple there. Absolutely incredible, giving him a nice little streak to start off I here. I looked at the minimap here, and now uh, it seems that the Saints are kind of quartered off on their side of the map, completely separated. Uh, but, and again, Nickel Saints has full control over it now. Uh, the Saints are just kind of Holding on the fort, I guess, waiting for the next hard point to spawn up. It's a little bit of a, a standoff here. It's still relatively early in the round, you know, uh, 54 to 41, as the hard point does eventually take the state. Like I said, the prep work to make sure that they are going to be ready to take it over once it goes down. Two deaths here. Brandon taking out Asian and Zarin taking out Shark. But the Saints are still holding this hard point very hard. <laughs> Absolutely. This little restaurant hard point here, it's very, very small, so a, co a trophy system is going to be huge here. That's what just about every player is going to be bringing in here. Enslea, KB, and Zarin each going to pick up a kill there. Oh, Zarin getting a double there, going off. He's on a four kill streak right now, building up to those. Uh, what are they called? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the kill trophy system? Uh, the kill streak, sorry. He's pulled oh. up to a UAV here. We can see there Nacho Slay go. going off, getting a nice little double there, getting things started. He's going to be taken out though by Shark, but quickly traded out by KB as Saints just locked down this hard point and almost double their opponent's points. Grenade coming out. KB is able to escape the blast. Must be oh, and he comes around the corner, gets a headshot, slides onto the point, throws on the trophy system. He is knife, nice, safe, and secure. Nobody is going to be able to stop him. The door opens too. That's acting as a second cover. Not just like holding down the escalator. It's going to go down as EMC find, or CMAC finds his way up. We're going to get picked off by Zarin. Now, we just trying to hit off KB, but he retreats back into his little hidey hole as Zarin pops up out of the bush and takes him out as well. The Saints have full control over the left side of the terminal, and it looks like Nickel State is having to do a nice invasion. CMAC finding two. The hard point is looking a little bit clear, but again, they have their man inside the cubby, and he's not going to be in any danger anytime soon. Wager just popping out of the corner. Could have seen him, but he is able to rotate around back into the hiding hole. CMAC with the pistol, trying to find him. One, two, three, four. Oh! Oh, but KB with his pistol of his own is able to take him out. Now it's only a matter of time before Saints are really going to establish dominance now. Almost a 100 score lead now. Just a couple of points away over Nickel State. Jordan Nickel is dire. Oh, you are telling me Nickel is going to be able to hop on this point and start grabbing some more points again for themselves. But St. Clair College almost at 100 points away from the W here. 250 points are what is required 
they're going to be slowly creeping towards that. As you can see, lots of trades going in and out here. Nacho Slay taking out Shark, KB grabbing Kraz. Wajin's going to be able to take out Zarin there, but not going to be able to stop the Saints from grabbing this point and getting themselves 100 points away from the win. KB and Slay are going to be grabbing a couple more kills themselves each here. And Slay getting himself on a nice little streak. But let's take a look at KB, who's on a seven kill streak right now, absolutely frying this lobby, just going off. And as we can see, Saints just with incredible control oh, on this play. <laughs> Hard point. Oh, goodness, those darn flashes. We can see KB in a prime spot here, just waiting for any runouts. And I think Nichols is going to have to let them have this hard point. Really good spot there. Crazy 3 was able to find Zarin. Uh, you know, back in the good old days, camping like that is frowned upon. But here is the name of the game. Oh, sliding through the tunnel. Brandon finds C-Mac right in there. Now they're gonna have to take rotation over. Center of the map is where the hard point is in this little gift shop. It's not gonna be easy. Zarin though, holding firm, doing a little camping of his own now. Shark is gonna be peeking in. Around the side. Do that in hallway. Crazy three finds a long shot headshot to get the pickoff onto KB. But Saints are still holding this point down. Not anymore, actually. Nickel State takes it over in a quick turn of events. Trophy system is gonna take out that nade, but not before. Oh, now he waiting goes down. Crazy three. It's hard to follow out of the action every few seconds. Somebody critical is going down. Flashbangs and nades. There's no trophy system to stop those from going off. But stun grenade. Brandon's not gonna be able to find any shots there. If only he had wall hacks, you'd be able to know exactly where he was. But he has no idea. He's got to make the rotation. Shark and Zarin are going to be exchanging bullets. C-Mac and Enslea have a little exchange of their own. Enslea finding two. Crazy D is going to be able to take him out with a wall bang. Shark is going to be holding down this side, trying to find his way over. Finds Zarin through the bush, gets a headshot. Breaking the nade. He's throwing it out to the point. He could get any sprays, but the trophy system is going to take it out. Now, ooh, in the cockpit, a cheeky kill from Brandon. He's just rotating, making sure he can get anybody who's trying to get good rotation. A five killing spree now for Brandon. Again, just rotating, making sure anybody who's stray is going to get picked up. Now, Saints are only a couple tens of points away. They need to get 250 in order to win this first game of the best of five where things are most dire for Nichols College, or Nichols State University. I could not have put it better myself. The Saints now just 26 points away, and they are on this point and slowly climbing towards it. And we can just see that they have this map locked down. They've got every angle covered. They are just cutting them off at the spawn. And I'd say that this this mat, or sorry, this round is pretty well sealed, locked away, signed, sent in the post office, and it should reach its destination soon. Brandon and Enslay are just showing why they are the varsity squad here, but the hard point is about to change, and Nichols does have a cheeky little camper over there waiting, so he might be able to spring out and grab some final points for them before giving up here, and they are going to be able to hop on to the hard point, but quickly taken out, as we can see, Zarin popping off on a five kill streak of his own Nacho Slayer with a nice little two kill streak, but quickly taken out by Kraz. And now they are fighting to get on this last hard point. Nichols knows they need to do whatever they can to stop St. Clair College, but it might just not be enough here as it is 242 to 111. Just eight points away for the Saints. They're looking to wrap this up, but Nichols State is fighting hard. They don't want to give this up. They going, it's a best of five, so you know, you still have two more games if you're losing this first one to make it back. But losing that first game is a lot of momentum sapped right out of you. They don't want to give this up. If they're going to give it up, they don't want to give it up without a fight. C-Mac is going to go down. There's just, just one member left inside, and he's inside that cubby. Gonna rush in, he's gonna be able to get one, but oh, he's just showing himself for a little bit too long. Shark is gonna find him as he's putting on the trophy system, and this just might be it for the Saints. Actually, no, Nickel Saints is able to take out Excellent and KB. The, the point is now open, nobody has it. Actually, now Nickel Saints just sneaking one foot inside of there. Brandon going for the cruise missile, don't you dare! If this could absolutely turn this around and end it for Nickel State, but is he gonna find anything? Finds one. But not the first person they really needed to get inside the couple. But did they, I think they did find him. Mm -hmm. Now just need a couple more seconds. And nobody from Nicholas is going to be able to find them in time. Spawning at the other side of the map. And that's going to go. St. Clair is taking game one in this best of five. Very well done by the Saints and very hard fought by Nickel State. Absolutely. Incredible playing from both teams there. And you can see that Nichols' very early game had the map pretty well locked down. However, it 
roles got reversed and St. Clair College did the exact same thing to them, locking down half the map and making sure that they had the points themselves. Just taking a look at the scoreboard here, we can see a couple of our killers here. Brandon and Enslay just going off 19 and 13 Maybe and 22 and 19. And yes, that's seven <laughs> kill streak. Absolutely disgusting. Very well done by the Saints. And again, very hard fought by Nickel State. Mm -hmm. um, like you mentioned, what I observed through that game was, yeah, Nickel State was able to very easily lock down the hard point side of the map. Mm -hmm. um, and they were able to take control very easily, like a, with a ruling with an iron fist. Yep. But then the Saints, they didn't take unnecessary engagements and they didn't push too hard if they didn't need to. They just took what they could, found any pickoffs that would allow them to get any foothold. And if they couldn't get onto the point, they wouldn't push too hard for it. But whenever they could, they were patient, they found pickoffs that they needed and then they were able to storm the point and just completely instantly take over it so very well played by the saints all around agreed agreed and again uh just everything that they're bringing into the game cod compared to other games such as valorant overwatch you know a lot of people talk about the metas with cod it's the same meta everyone's using the same guns and right. some of these guns we saw uh the pistol uh come out i can't quite remember the name right now however don't look at me it is just absolutely disgusting. It fires off so quickly, and it's time to kill is just ridiculous. But obviously, you see everybody rocking some MCWs as well. The common AR, that it's the Vandal of Call of Duty, <laughs> is basically the best way to put it. But yes, a um, lot of meta plays there, and the trophy system's big clutch there. Oh yeah, you, you'll not go a single game in Call of Duty without mm -hmm. a trophy system. The way grenades work in the game, they're just so quintessential. They can make, especially in a map like, or a game mode like Hardpoint, mm -hmm. where everybody's going to be sitting in one spot in the open, you know, being able to just throw nades out, it kind of defeats the whole challenge, mm -hmm. right? So trophy systems are essential in being able to hold down any point, lock it down, and get things under control. Um, but while players are getting underway for the next game, before we throw it to a break, again, just any closing thoughts on how that one went for the Saints and how this next map could pose any challenges for the Saints. Well, we do have Search and Destroy coming up next, which is always very, very fun for us, for the fans at home. Mm -hmm. um, first to six there, you know, that is the common, like, that's where, you know, rivalries are formed is in those search lobbies. That's where clips are made. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, <laughs> and especially 4v4 search is just very wild. So it'll be very exciting and very interesting to see how the Saints do. Absolutely. I'm very excited to see how they do with things. Um, but before we see that action, we're going to have to be a little bit patient and just wait a little bit longer before we see it. But don't go anywhere too far. We'll be back very soon. Take care.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some Modern Warfare 3. We are here on our second round of the best of five between St. Clair College Saints and Nickel State, the Colonel's Esports. And we got some search and destroy here on Invasion, a very common map, and it's actually our map pick for the next couple rounds here. But as we get underway, Nickel State going to be starting off on the attacking side. And here we go, shots being fired as Notch Slayer finds a double to start things off. And just like that, half the team gone. Weijin going to be able to take him out though and trade it right back but putting them, Saints have put Nichols in a very very tough spot here as the bomb is down and nowhere near sight. Right, like you said, the bomb is down Weijin is very close by but even so, once you pick it up what are you going to do? You got three Saints, three dead-eyed Saints to put uh, all watching the critical angles, making sure that they know exactly where you're going to be trying to go there, there's not a lot you can do but it's Call of Duty, and unlike real life, he got multiple chances to get things right, so he's going to have to figure out exactly what he's going to try and just go for it. It's not impossible, if, as long as you believe in yourself. But this teammate, Crazy, taking up the bomb, now they have to try to make a push. They have to just decide to go and commit for it. Hey, exchanging bullets like exchanging hellos. They're going to be seeing if there, anyone's going to waver there. Maybe they're going to rotate. Maybe they're going to try to fake something. But they have to just go for it one way or the other. And they get mowed down like a blade of grass. Saints take round one. So well executed there. The double kill right off the bat from Nacho Slayer. And then we get to see this. Zarin coming in and just finding one of them as KB is going to grab the other there and what a cleanup crew those two are and just incredible playing well positioned from those two there and now they take a 1-0 lead a 1-0 lead again it's first six in search and destroy once you die in this game you are out for the round the attackers have to try to plant the bomb the defenders have to try to make sure that they don't plant the bomb and just as we're getting into this Wonderful movement from both teams here, getting exactly up to where they need to be. And Slayer, our star from the last round, is going to go down first. Now, the Saints are going to have to try to recoup and decide how they're going to want to approach this next push. The bomb is up, it's picked up by the Saints, so they can't keep pushing up. They're going to be going for B side, which is a lot less defended than A, but now I think they might be aware we have Crazy making a rotation over. But, oh, I think he's behind one of the Saints. Is, oh, yeah, Bren is right in that barrier. Comes around the corner, takes him out. Bren is now rushing in so he can get behind Mac as well. But no, he's able to take him down. The Saints, KB, last man standing. He's going to be holding on his last man. Hiding behind the tank here. Shark, Mac. Oh, KB finds one. But they take him down. And now they're going to be able to defuse the bomb without any real dispute. That's going to be one score for Nichols State University. Well played by Nichols there. And great, great playing by, I believe that was Craze who picked up a triple that round. Incredible playing. Good positioning. Brandon had some solid plays there. KB did a good job holding it down as long as he could, but just not quite enough there. And yes, that, or sorry, C-Mac with the triple in that last round. Great job by him here. But as we get into round, both teams are going to be switching sides each and every round here. Mm -hmm. So we are going to see Colonels back on the offense here. And now it looks like they might be going for an A approach here. They slowly make their way up the middle, but Enslaya is going to find one before being traded out by Weijin there. And now putting in a 3v3 scenario, we can see they're going to hold down this building here. Make sure that none of the Saints get through. He's awesome. gonna, Weijin going to see KB pass by. He's going to call him out too. KB though, ooh, takes some shots, but Weijin was just too quick with it. He knew exactly where he was going. And now we're going to go back to Craze here. He's holding a very, very long angle. Brandon also holding a long angle. He's going to spot Craze there in the corner. He's going to take a couple shots, but not quite be able to finish him off though. But as I say that, Zarin going to be able to find Weijin. Craze able to get out of it running as fast as Forrest Gump. <laughs> Yeah, he slipped and slide. Bullets are not enough to stop him. He'll keep zooming by. He escapes with his life for now. It's looking to be a 2v2. Saints matching the players on Nichols State University. One with the bomb here, Shark. He does have a clear sight line towards the point. He doesn't know it's open though, so he is hesitating. Crazy, trying to, you know, spot around so he can find anybody, do some reconnaissance. He sees that A is clear, so it might be an indication that maybe B is open. Yep, they do see it. He's taking some fire. He was able to indicate that A was the one that they were watching. He's going to get the bomb planted on B side. Now the Saints have to make a B line for B. Crazy, he is again just crawling around, seeing if he can spot any roamers. 
Not going to find anybody just yet while Shark is holding down the point. Saints are going to have to get there and get there fast. They only have 30 seconds left to defuse the bomb. Kray's going to be holding this building down. He's got two Saints right around him here. He's going to take some shots, but not quite hit anything as he gets shot up a little himself. But he's going to be able to find Zarin in there. And there we go. Nichols will close that round out, grabbing the last two Saints and now give themselves the 2-1 lead. And they lost a little bit of control in that round there. Um, things did get a little bit messy on the approach. Uh, Nichols, they were able to, instead, I feel like most teams would have gotten a little nervous in the circumstance that they were in. They, the time was ticking. They didn't have all, again, it was 2v2. They didn't have any kind of advantage, really. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Saints could have had a one-on-one -on -one point, right? But one on each point, but they, they were able to play it slow, play it safe, make sure that they got the reconnaissance necessary with their excellent movement, and then planted, stuck to it, and then played defense on their side. So now just spray firing a little bit. KB throwing up the nade, finds the hit marker. <laughs> Very well done, always a satisfying thing. Brandon trading shots. Now they're gonna have to commit. They they scouted out A side. Looks like they're making a decision. They want to push B. A seems to be chopped liver or something. Nobody really wants to push there. KB spot shark, but too little, too late. He's able to take him out. Now Saints are down one man, and they are hesitating a little bit to go on B side now. Jordan, bomb Zarin holding the bomb here, very very close to the Nichols player. I believe that is C Mac there, right next to him, and. This might be a little bit of a Mexican standoff here as they are oh, yeah. all just waiting around the site. <laughs> they know that the bomb has not made it close to the site yet, so Nichols is going to be able to hold this down. Brandon going to have to be a little careful here as he kind of sticks his head out in the open here. C-Mac going to go down at Nacho Slayer, though. Great play by him there. Wait, waiting nice and patiently, but as we see, 25 seconds left on the clock. Nacho Slayer going to take a couple shots, and now the Saints are going to take the bomb towards that A site and try to get the plant down. Zarin taking his head out. Brandon's going to be able to find a kill onto Craze and give them a man advantage. And now we can see plant is going to go down on A site and now it is up to Nichols to try and make time back. They got 40 seconds. Weiji going to find a double for himself, putting Brandon in a 1v2 situation here, defending the bomb. Just has to waste enough time here and he can do it if Weijin and uh, C-Mac take, or sorry, Shark. Take a little oh, too long here, but Weijin gonna be able to find the pick, and the defusing is gonna start. Nichols will be taking another round. I'm glad you hesitated there, because I was about to say, I've seen Brandon take on 1v4s before, but mm -hmm. not able to pull it off there. Nichols C is gonna take another round, 3-1 against the Saints. That's a very favorable position, if you know anything about our team. A very good spot to be in. Uh, you know, it's not as easy thing to do, so congratulations to Nichols C for earning the advantage early on in this or this round of the best of five. But again, it's not over yet. The Saints still have a few more games left in them. Again, first to six. So the Saints just have to rethink their strategy, think about more how they want to approach, maybe take a little bit more calculated, take a page out of Nichols State's book, um, be a little bit more patient, be a little bit more calculated and uh, flexible in their approaches. But once again, they're sending Brennan over on that flank to watch anybody trying to sneak by. He's probably the most reliable gun when it comes to those long range engagements. Nacho Slayer holding down the center, just making sure that nobody tries to rotate between B and A. And Nickel State is going to have to play their push just a little bit. Not giving, Saints aren't giving any information for Nickel State to make an educated decision as to where they want to push. Mm -hmm. A lot of long angles being held here by St. Clair College, which is it's beautiful. very, very good because this map is just kind of <laughs> open in rows. I know it's just. <laughs> You can see from one side of the map to the other, and there we go. Brandon's going to be able to find a pick there, but quickly traded out by Shark. Now making it a 3v3, and the bomb is going to slowly make its way towards B here. But we do have KB holding B site down nice and tight, holding behind that bulldozer, just slowly waiting for that bomb to approach so he can take it out and get it down. They're going to make their approach now. Shots being fired out here. KB's going to be able to find one on evasion there. He's going to be looking for a second. As he pushes up, gets a little close to the tank. I don't think they saw him cross here. And now oh! they're going to fall off right into him. And that's bombed down straight in front of KB. They know where he is. He's playing a little ring around the Rosie here. And he's going to find a ball third. Of he finds a third. Oh, and there we go. St. Clair College take it back. And now close the gap between themselves and Colonel's Esports. I got to admit, Jordan, when I saw him run around that corner, I thought it was over. I, I, I really thought he had that there um, on the side of Nichols State. But 
Uh, he was able to put him down. Uh, KB holding down B site, stopping that push right in his tracks. 3 2 now. Saints still have a long way to go to take out this game, but that's one round closer. Mm -hmm. And as we can see, KB starting to build up a kill streak here. He's almost halfway to a UAV, so if you just hold on a little longer, UAV goes a very, very long way, especially in search and destroy. KB popping some shots off very, very far distance. Not going to be able to do anything with it, though. Trophy system going out on B, it's going to be able to slow down the Saints push, but they don't care. They're running straight in. Nacho Slayer going to find one before he's taken out by Sharks. They're going to be able to trade it right back, and they will be able to find this B plan now. Now again, we're looking at a 2v2 situation. Sorry, 2v3 rather for the Saints. They are going to be able to get the plant off without a hitch. And it's going to be on Nickel Stick to make the push. Trophy systems aren't going to make this any easier than it already is. You know, very difficult. But the Death Silence is going to allow them to maneuver a little bit. Maybe have a team make some noise, get their eyes pulled in a different way. Actually, no, they're both going to push on this side here. Brandon waiting for them. He already sees the shots. He's going to pre-fire a little bit. Trying to get a flat. Sorry, a uh, wall bang rather. Gonna go for it. C-Mac is gonna go down. Beautiful headshot from Brandon. And another Saint able to take out the remaining Nickel State member. And just like that, in a matter of a blink and a half, we're three three doors. Tied right back up St. Clair College now. Finding a little bit more of their stride in this match. Starting to build up that momentum again. And that's just what they need to take back the lead in this next round. But as we switch sides here, you know, that was a very, very fast approach for Search and Destroy. And I think it really caught Nickel State off guard there. Right, and it's the way they've been holding, these starting off these rounds, or on the defense side rather, where they just immediately snap to their position and hold down these angles. The Saints are not mm -hmm. to be trifled with in these long range rifles, okay? They are very dangerous. But Brandon switching things up a little bit, he's actually going to be taking the aggressive side now, but they know the Saints probably not going to want to contest. They're probably just acquiescing these long range pushes. But Brandon rotating behind them while they're looking at B side. Brandon's coming behind them. He sees C Mac potentially, but I know he sees the rest of Nickel State coming up behind. He sees one, but they don't know he's there yet. He's going to go for the knife. No, no, you dirty dog. You go take one, almost gets two. Trigger discipline, pushing uh, maybe a little, not getting the returns he wanted there, but he's still able to get a good exchange there, forcing Nickel State to have their heads on a swivel. They're not going to be very comfortable after something like that. 100%. That was purely mind games there. Well executed by Brandon. And like you said, great trigger discipline too. Holding on to for just a little bit here. And it has slowed this Nickel State offense straight down. They have 30 seconds left to try and get to a site and plant the bomb here. And it looks like they are trying to figure out ooh, if ooh. he is still the best option. Zarin going to be able to take out C-Mac. KB going to be able to find Weijin. Craze now in a 1v2 situation. He's going to be looking for one here. Gets a couple shots off. He's going to go up to the bomb, but not quite finish it out as St. Clair College takes the win and takes the lead. Four, three now after we were just lamenting the advantage that Nick State was able to hold on to them. And again, uh, beaten in and of itself. Very well played so far. They're far from out of this game. But the Saints now taking the advantage as we head into this next round. I believe we're going to be seeing Nichols State on the defending side. Mm -hmm. And Saints are going to have the initiative in this round. They're going to probably just try to play a little bit more aggressively as they have been. Every round has just been slightly more and more aggressive, seeing what they can get away with. And just like that, they're off. Looks like they're making a B line right for B. Not even a second for delay. They leave one behind KB to see if they can get any pickoffs, but they're still keeping the aggression going, just pouring their way through. And KB going for the cruise missile, seeing if they can spot anybody. Maybe see. Oh, that's taking a lot of damage there, Brandon, probably from a straight grenade. Cruise missile's not going to hit anybody, but the offense is still persisting nonetheless. Not just like sees one in the building there. You might, might not know that it's two. One making the rotation away. Probably thinks that that was the only one there now. They're going to be having the information advantage. And just like that, they see Zarin making those quick plays. Not again, concealing the fact that there are more than one of them there. They're able to make some doppelganger shenanigans and they're able to take out Zarin as a result of their doom. But Enslay has the bomb and he is planting out a B side again. A very popular side. It seems the is going to get taken down. Or sorry, Wage is going to take down Brandon rather. And now it's going to be on the trying to get the point. But they can find KB making a rotation. He's going to go down and now it's just Enslay. But he is down as well. And just like that, Nickel State is going to take this to be 4 4. Tying it right back up, well executed by them, holding the proper angles there. And you know, I think just a little lack of checking corners might have caught the Saints in that round here. But great playing by Nichols State there. A flawless round as well, not dropping a single player there. And now 
tied up. You know, this is a time when momentum really comes into play here. Either team needs to find their stride and get right back into this game. And like, again, especially the source to source and destroy. Mm -hmm. Only got one life here. We can see this round end very fast. Both teams just need two more points to take this hard-fought game, and it would be a crying shame to lose it all to a very simple mistake. So both teams might be playing at their A game right now, but it seems they're actually pushing their B game. As they push B side, uh, we have the bomb on Shark. A lot of nades coming out, no trophy systems coming to play yet. You don't want to commit those two early. Once they're down, they're down. You, know? you don't want to be left without your reliable trophy system for the B game. Now, Shark and Brandon, we're switching between. Oh, KB is able to find the pickoff on Shark. Brandon is making the rotation now alongside Enslea as they're trying to wrap around onto the B side now that they know exactly where they are. And they're going to be pushing right into them, but Enslea just looked in the wrong direction at the wrong time. Crazy is going to be able to take him down, but they're making the rotation over to A side now. It's just Brandon on that point, but I say just Brandon, but you never want to see just Brandon. Oh, in fact, maybe you do. It's never just Brandon. He's a very scary threat, but able to get neutralized there. It's just Zarin now. The bomb is down. He's on a solo mission to take this out, but coming behind, does he know? He doesn't. This is going to take him out. And just like that, Nickel State one game away, one round away rather from winning the game. Absolutely. Match point now for Colonel's Esports here. Good kill here by C Mac, waiting patiently for that rotation he knew was coming. Now, this is going to put Sinclair College in a little bit of a tricky situation here as they now have to take back two rounds. A good, they need a good defense, or sorry, a good offensive side here and a good defensive side here. For sure. Now, St. Clair College, like I mentioned before, they have to be recogn recognizing the fact that they have no more room for mistakes here. They want to play perfectly, they want to drop anything. And as we're going to see how that's going to manifest, uh, Nickel State as well, recognizing that fact, they're probably going to be pulling out some strategies that the Saints might not be expecting. And looking at what I'm seeing right now, they have one man hiding in a sneaky, uh, little sneaky corner there. Mm. Maybe that might be the cheeky little pickoff that they're hoping to get off on the Saints, but the Saints are holding fast, holding strong, keeping their eyes on B side. Now it's just Leia on the high ground getting the surveillance advantage. Shark may be taking some bullets there, but it's not over just yet. It's about 50 seconds. The Saints, their offense has slowed to a crawl, but they're just waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. You only have one more chance. Two of the Saints able to make it around that corner of B say, and they're going to be able to take some shots there and make this Nichols defense back off a little. Brandon going to be able to swivel around here. KB going to find first blood here on to Weijin. Incredible pick, and now giving them the man advantage as they are able to get the plant down on B side. Get some trophies out there, boys, before the nades start flying, because I promise you they are coming. And sure enough, now we are going to see a little bit of a hesitation from Nichols here. Oh. They want to find a good spot, and Nacho Slayer taking out C Mac there. Great, great pick there. Good find, and now the other two Nichols players trying to find another way around. It looks like they're going to want to rotate around back here, but we do see that KB has this locked down. He's looking for one. He finds it. Nice headshot on the craze there, and able to take him out swiftly, and now it is all up to Shark here in a 1v4 situation, and that will do it. St. Clair College goes down with a Bye flawless time. round of their own, and we are going to match point right here. No overtime of any sort. It is one and done. Perfect. That's the way we want to see it. This is where everything is riding on. This very close, very intense game, it all comes down to the final round, as Call of Duty has so graciously reminded us. And it's going to be the Saints on the defensive side. Whether or not that's what they want, that's what they're going to get. And it's going to come down to the Nickel State as they have the initiative, but the Saints might not want to sit back and wait. They might be playing aggressively here. We're just going to have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. And now St. Clair College on the defensive side making strong plays here. We're going to see the trophy systems go out. This will be huge and instrumental. And Brandon starting off strong, getting a big kill onto Weijin there. And that will be a very big player taken out of the game. Nickel State top fragger taken down. And now St. Clair College just going to hold these long angles again. We know Nacho Slea loves these. And he's just peeking around the corner at one as if he knows. And the bomb has just come to a halt here in front of the B site. But now Nickel's going to look to push up ever so slightly here. We are going to see that Zarin and KB holding down this B site prominently is, as it is the favorite site on this map. And as we've seen already in this round, it is just, you know, the way to go here. But St. Clair College, incredible defense so far. 
incredible indeed, completely impregnable. They're, the uh, Nickel State has not found a way in yet, and it's very unlikely that they will unless the Saints slip up. They get too overzealous and make a mistake. They still have Brandon watching the long side of the They might want to try to rotate, and actually, no, they got one coming over there right now, but the pressure is mounting. Nickel State has to get aggressive now. They have to do it. So, Nate coming out, they have to move out of the way for it, but they find there, and Shark does take him out, just make another foot in the door and make betting on this point that much easier. But Craze is going to get taken out by KB, the kill leader for the Saints. Kind of free fire on the corner, and he jumps up, gets a beautiful headshot to take around the game. That's going to be St. Clair Saints taking that game in its entirety. 5-5 five, five now, We're looking at 5-6. I couldn't imagine a more tense way for things to end up. KB, beautiful play, a lot of game sense and knowledge went into that play. It was a huge risk, but it paid off, and that's going to win them the game. Taking a look at the scoreboard here, KB leading the Saints 15-5. and five. Absolutely incredible. Weijin, though, no joke either as he goes 10-8 and eight leading his team. And just incredible playing all around. But now with that win, St. Clair College is going to be on series point. Only one more map or one more map to take the win home tonight and take this first week of COD and show the rest of the world what they are made of. Absolutely, and they're showing them very strongly what the Saints are all about, mm -hmm. and that is indomitable gameplay. A very strong showcase of what they can do here. And we're going into map three very soon, but still just reflecting on how map two went. Again, yeah. we saw those long angle holds, we saw those sneaky rotations, mm -hmm. we saw a lot of things going down, but what do you think you saw in that game that was just the most X factor that you think allowed the Saints to take that away? Well, definitely KB. Fair. Him as a whole Fair. was absolutely what the what St. Clair College needed to win that round. You know, going 15-5, and five, absolutely incredible playing from him. But that lockdown defense on those last couple rounds mm -hmm. definitely helped them. Being able to lock down and secure a site, make sure you slow down your opponent before they can get a chance. Because, you know, you only get two and a half minutes to play the round. That's a lot. That's not a long time. It's not a lot of time, <laughs> really? especially, you know, when you get to a halt right away. And then in those last 30 seconds panic mode and that's what happened in Nichols there and as they tried to push on the site they just couldn't find their way in Absolutely. Again, I found that whichever team felt the most in control was mm -hmm. the most in control. I feel yep. like especially with a game or a game mode like uh, Search and Destroy, it's so much of it is on your mm -hmm. reservation and your ability to control your temperament. It takes, especially again, like we mentioned, two and a half minutes is not a long time, especially when a single gunshot can take you out of the game, take you out of the series, mm -hmm. take you out of the match, right? So it takes a level head and again, a lot of game knowledge, a lot of game sense to know exactly what kind of play your team needs in that moment, what they need from you, and how you're going to execute in the most efficient way possible. I think the, the thing that demonstrates that the most was when, uh, I don't remember which player on Nichols it was, but Brandon was holding them down on that long side, yep. and they had to make a choice whether or not they are going to hold on there or try to make the rotation, yep. and made the perfect choice to slide away and make the rotation. Um, very well played by Nichols State all around, and very well played, of course, to the Saints who ended up taking that game. But it's not over yet. The Saints need to win one more game, mm -hmm. and Nickel State, they're not out of it yet. They need to still win three more if they want to take the series away. But it's not over yet. We're going to have to throw it to a quick break as the players get ready for this potentially final game. And we'll see you as soon as the action starts back up. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back once again to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. We are back on Invasion, but this time playing a little bit of Control. Quite an interesting game mode here. In this game mode, the, offense, the attacking side will have to capture both A and B points within the time given. And starting it off is going to be St. Clair College. Now there is respawns, however, there are only so many lives that each team gets. Right, every life counts, especially when things are getting too close to the wire, when you only have 10 seconds left and two lives left on each team, things can really start to get a little hectic, just like they are getting on PCs. You can see the action is crawling just a little bit, but as we're getting back into normal, see just a little bit, we see KB was left in the rubble after that little bit of mayhem. But the Saints have progress A, they already have two pips on the point, and they already have almost I'd say three fourths on B side. Going down though, uh, the Nickel State is going to be reducing that progress over on A side. They don't want to give this up too easily. Right, and you know I love that word pips on a point. I, I quite like it. I quite like it. But now St. Clair College are actually going to be finishing off this B side here, and once they do, they're going to get a nice little bit of extra time. In fact, a whole minute and 40 seconds of extra time so now they have just over two minutes to grab what is left of this a point which is only one little tick here so as they make their way forward we're going to see brandon with a nice little double there nacho slay going to be able to find one of his own it's going to be able to help oh sink their college and <laughs> enslea just finishing off shark here and this might be it right here as they are on the point with only one little clip left and there we go st Clair college takes the first round and especially with control it can be a little hard I find a huge advantage for the attacking side in always, you know, it really does come down to that defense and who is able to stop the other team. For sure. The Saints didn't really give us enough time to, to kind of break down what was happening. By the time I was ready to see what was going on, they, they already won it. Yeah. Uh, just breakneck speeds that they took over. Nickel State, they're going to have to try to match that and if not exceed it. Um, that might not be too easy based on the, what the defense that we saw St. Clair is capable of on that search and destroy. Mm -hmm. Nickel State with a minute 25. They're going to have to try to get as many, uh, capture both points, just like the Saints. C-Mac finding the first blood. Hopefully this is going to pave their way for success, able to get over to that point on A side. They're capturing it quite a bit now. Zarin crawling around, doing a little bit of skulking around. See C-Mac, thought he was going to keep pushing on, but he came back just for him, throwing the frag grenade. He's able to take a lot of damage there. Brandon finds a headshot on C-Mac uh, as he runs away there. Now we're looking at Craze, seeing if he can find any quick kills over there. Not going to find any there, but Huge gunfight going on in this debris. Somebody went down. Who it was is anybody's guess, but it's not going to be favorable for whoever just went down. C Mac now rotating over to B side, but the Saints are all over there with the rest of the team. They're going to go down this area. Just one quick spray is able to take out two players, two big players in that. In fact, they find another one. Ooh. Eight, just like that. Nickel St. Louis has 18 lives. Saints only dropping two in the matter of this round. They only have 30 mm. seconds left, Jordan. It's not looking good. Only 30 seconds, and they haven't even made an attempt on one of these sites yet. As we take a look at the mini map, St. Clair College just has them locked in their spawn here and slowly taking them out. 20 seconds left. This defense is all but locked in for St. Clair College. Brandon with another headshot there, continuing his incredible kill streak. Zarin on one of his own with a nice little five kill streak. Oh, and there we wow. go, extending it to six very quickly. And just like that, St. Clair College is going to take a very quick defensive side here. Four, three, two, and one. And St. Clair College will grab this second round and put themselves one step closer. It's actually on match point now as it is first to three rounds within control. So they just need to have a stellar offense here and they will sweep the floor. I gotta say they might not even need a stellar one, just any kind of offense would be enough at this point uh, after something like that. you know, Just a little more than recover. that offense. More or less. I didn't want to say it, but you went ahead and said it for me. So we're getting on five seconds left before we're going to see what the Saints have in store for us. But I, I got to say, based off of the, the very tense and close search and destroy we just saw, this is a far cry from what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. I hope Nickel State is able to recover from this, not let those defeats get too far into their heads and they're able to pull back and 
show us what they made up here. C-Mac, you're gonna get the first blood, but Wage is gonna go down to KB. They're just keeping the offense down. Saints just in a, basically in a line formation, just pushing up that whole side of the map and taking down Nickel State members one by one. But it seems they're able to find a side here. I think they're on the point. Throwing the trophies to make it a little bit more safe. But as one slides around the corner, and takes down KB. It's not going to be that simple. But they do have a man on B side. And the progress on A is getting depleted. But Enslay is going to go down on his efforts for B side. Zarin finding Wajin. The rotation from the Saints is a green wave making their way over. They find. The the kill and now it's just a matter of time before they're able to take it over and establish it. Trophy systems are only an inevitability at this point and B side is looking very favorable for the Saints. Absolutely, you know, that is going to be the side they want to try to grab first here, especially so they can get that extra time here as they do find the first tick on that B side. 50 seconds left and now we can see that they are actually going to have to step off here as Nickel State doing a great job on defense right now as they put the pressure on this B side where they know St. Clair College is going to want to be. KB in a little bit of a firefight here around the car. He's going to be looking for some shots but not quite seeing anything yet as he takes a little bit of damage himself here. And holy moly, this action is just so intense right now so that intense. even we can't keep up. But Absolutely. KB is going to eventually go down. B-side's taken? B-side did saw. just get taken. There's contestion there. Nope. Enslaya in the it, corner. It not fully finished yet. Not yet. They are retreated, but they still have it within their grasp. They don't want to let all that progress go to waste and give a point over. It's only about 25 seconds left. The Saints are fighting tooth and nail to get this point, and they find it now. A minute and 25 seconds to take over A-side, and they're just going to be able to clean up the rest of Nickel State. Not just so they come around the corner to see who else he can find. He finds Wajin and looking for one more in Craze, but Craze is going to get out of there before he can get taken out. In fact, he finds KB, but Ensley is going to take him down. Now, A-side looking nice and barren. That's exactly what Nickel State once, but with one minute left, the Saints are going to have to play their, out of their minds to get this over. Cruise missiles coming down from Ed Slayer. See if you can find any stray roamers, any fine shark. Oh, never mind. That was Red at picking up that kill. And we're going to be seeing if they can get any progress towards A side. Wage is going to get taken up by Zarin in a nice slide battle. The Saints are slowly but surely. Again, they're not just making a beeline for A side, they are just quartering the map, slowly picking them off and making sure that they don't get the spawns to the upside of the map. They want to Mm -hmm. pigeonhole them and have them like fish in a barrel where they can easily control exactly where they go. So the Saints are still playing relatively slow, but it's a very calculated offense, I feel. They're going to find a rotation there, but Cave is going to pick picked off. That's going to slow them down a lot. I think you're just trying to get that uh, area kind of quartered out. Brandon and the rest of the Saints are going to be trying to go over the lower side of the map now, Jordan, but it's looking very favorable for the Nickel State so far. Absolutely. They, they are getting ever so close to that A site. If they can step on it, they will be able to stop the time, but they are getting shut down with five lives left. They don't have a lot to spare. Only one full team left now of lives, and just like that, Nickel State going to be able to come back and have a stellar defensive round here and give themselves one round. Uh, I feel like the Saints were trying to catch off those flank points, those, those alleyways, yep. those routes to easily make rotations. But the Saints never let that happen. That's right, Nickel State never let that happen. They're always watching the right angles, always keeping their heads on a swivel to make sure that any flanks that were coming out were quickly mm -hmm. snuffed out. But the Saints still on match point here. And Nickel State, I believe, they're going to have to match at least capturing a site in order to win this round. Uh, so their work is still cut out for them. So yeah, so St. Clair College going to be going on the defense here. Hopefully they can replicate that defense that they had earlier, only dropping two lives in total here. But we're going to see first shots are being underway. No lives taken yet here. We're going to see Nichols going to just dominate this B site. Almost all of the players here. And they're going to be able to find some kills. Lots of trades going out there. But we are going to see Weijin take the advantage here and grab that site, grab a couple of kills here. Now, as we get underway, Nickel State on this point and we're gonna be able to lock down this B site very, very well here. And they actually might be getting close to taking it all together, which will give them very, very much time to take over that A site. A lot of time, time is on your side. If you're playing on control, you want to have every inch of that going in your favor. They still only have one minute left. B side does have progress and they get a pip on eight. It looks like they're going for a little bit of more of a split
offense here. Two pips now. The Saints are kind of just giving that up. They're not going to be able to stop that. I think they know it, or maybe they do still have a chance. No, they don't. They lose A side. And two minutes with one pip on B. Things are looking very clean, squeaky, and easy for Nickel State so far. Oh, wow. Uh, that was quite uh, A little cinematic. bit of a Tom Nady there as he sticks them perfectly. Physical comedy there. It's like, Boom! Just like that. Saints are in that corner over on B side, but again, like fish in a barrel, Nickel State is able to kind of mow them down. Just still one Saint left. Not able to get over there. Brandon trying his best to hold fast and hold hard, but B side is getting taken out. Waiting for reinforcements, waiting for lessons to give him an opportunity to jump out, jump over that window, but. Not enough. No, the Saints find it and are able to deplete that pip, but it's still just one that Nickel State needs to find. Just one pip of that offense to find. Now they're all coming in a strong wave, a red wave of Nickel State soldiers pushing up. Oh, but it's going to get stopped short thanks to KB, Brandon, both finding headshots right when they need them to stop that offensive wave from mowing them over and drowning out their hopes of a clean sweep on B side. Great job of locking them out there, St. Clair College. Now starting to put on a little bit of pressure here. Lives are getting low, only just above 10 each now. And it is going to be coming down to the wire here as we have just over a minute left here. We're going to see Nichols take a step out, but quickly go down. St. Clair College still going to hold this point nice and tight. We see the trophy system down on the ground there. It's going to be a huge help here, but C-Mac able to take down Zarin. And now St. Clair College a little bit sprawled out here, but KB going to be able to find Shark. And as we take a look here, Brandon also finding a kill. The point is left uncontested by nobody here. Nobody able to step on it quite yet, but St. Clair College Ooh, doing a great job. 12 to 10 lives left. St. Clair College just needs to find 10 more kills and they will secure it, but 30 seconds left on the clock. Everything is coming down to the last little bit. Weijing gonna be able to find a kill on the KB. And there we go, Nichols now starting to pull up the pressure. Saints. They find a couple more kills here. They're gonna be able to step on the site. Cruise missile coming out of nowhere. I'm not quite sure who that belongs to, but it's not gonna be able to find any connection there. As C-Mac now finding a couple more kills and there we go, just like that, Nichols captures all the zones and we will be going to the final round. Final round indeed. Saints were able to take it out the last time we were here, but looks like Nickel State with the momentum on their favor, they don't want it to go their way again. Final round once more, Jordan. Saints are on the attacking side. Like you said, you feel it's a little bit attacker favored, but the way I see it, it's confidence favored. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to go whatever plan, whatever play you're going to make, you want to just be able to do it, stick to it, commit to it, and execute it the way you know it needs to be done. But all the while, not losing your head. I feel like what kind of got the Saints uh, out of favor in that last moment there was I felt they got a little bit too antsy. They wanted to just yep. make sure that they didn't lose anything. And in that desperation, they lost their foothold. But now, maybe that antsiness will go in their favor here as they're on the attack side. And Enslea, antsy indeed, finding the first blood, seeing Ooh. the legs of Kray, taking toes. out another KB with the three K, taking it up to four. Ooh. And just like that, Nickel State, 26 lives, and the saves are pouring onto the point, looking to be very hard to contest. All four members of Nickel State far, far away, and not the way that you want to be when you're trying to play defense. St. Clair College stepping in and sh holding them in their spawn, doing a great job right now. You can see that they are struggling to make it out of that corner. And funny enough though, they're not quite on a point yet. They haven't quite stepped on. Wajin going to be able to find Brandon there and get him out of here. And KB, incredible grenade as he finds C-Mac there. And now we can see that they do have control of B-Site, but they do need to actually step on it and grab some time. Time is of the essence here. They have no pips. It felt like they've been playing so dominantly. You get 28 lives to 21 now, but they, they don't have any problems. It's not TDM. You're not going to be able to kill 30 within what? They get two minutes? They got 15 that? seconds 15 right now. 15 seconds left and still no progress. Desperately clamoring over to B side, but I don't think it's going to matter for them. Not even on the point right now. He's a little too overconfident and coming up behind him is Beverly Nickel State just making it so that it's guaranteed he's not going to be able to find any, but no. Stop. Oh, Saint, oh, Saint Clair was on the defense. Uh, well, look at us, <laughs> a couple of... Oh. Hey, you know what? It is what it is. We were caught up in all that action. The it was Saints, just too exciting, yeah. I, I gotta admit, I was really just watching the action there. Yeah. Saints 
skunked out Nickel State. They weren't even able to find their foothold on the point. And just like that, the Saints take the game, take the match, take the series, take it at home. It's looking strong in Nace. Again, Varsity Premier League, we have only have the best of the best, and Nickel State proving that true by giving the Saints one hell of a match. It was a close one, it was hard fought, and above all, it was quality. An absolute joy to watch. It was a blast, mm -hmm. and I'm very happy to say that the Saints were able to take it out in a very happy, very strong fashion. Look at them cheering themselves on. Hearts to you, Brandon. Hearts to you, Zared. Very well done. Hearts to the rest of the boys as well. Jordan, we got to witness all the glory here. Mm -hmm. What was the most glorious part of all that glory to you in this glorious day? Well, apart from that little confusion in that final round there, uh, and don't worry, I, we know we were both on the wrong side of things there. But, <laughs> you know, um, I just loved how, you know, you said it in the pre-show. St. Clair College likes these nail biters. Oh, and, yeah. you know, we saw it in search and we saw it in control going to those final rounds. But just clutching it out, it's almost like they do it on purpose. Almost. But, you know, they are just clutch warriors coming through <laughs> as always. And I can't wait to see what they have for the rest of this league for right. the rest of the season. I, I, I believe if I'm, my, my memory bank served me correct, I believe these this team is not a stranger to perfect undefeated seasons. Mm -hmm. I would love to see if they're able to do that in Nace this time around as well. Uh, it would be a very strong display of dominance. And again, Canadian Nationals champions. Yep. It wouldn't be far-fetched to see them pull off an undefeated yep. season. But right now, they're defeatless, at least in Nace. Very strong start mm -hmm. to believe everything's going their way so far. Again, Nickel State played so well, so, so well. well, so comfortably, so strong, especially in that search and destroy. And yep. again, especially in that control, and it control, also came yep. down to fi a final round. The hard mm -hmm. point was a little bit Saint sided, but still all around very excellently played by mm -hmm. both teams. I couldn't have said it better myself. Um, you know, like you said, huge shout out to Nichols there playing a great game today. But of course, mm -hmm. St. Clair College pulling it out and a huge shout out to them as they played super well. And you could just see from taking a look at them on the stage that they're comfortable. They're not getting crazy. They're not, you know, you don't see them down in the dumps or super locked in. They're relaxed. They're having fun. They're it's in video, their home. It's a video game. That's what video <laughs> games are meant for. Fun. But also competition. Exactly. And see, as we can see here, they're getting ready to clean up, probably having a little post game um in or meeting, trying to figure out, you know, where they can go better next time. You know, seeing Zarin step in, um, having a little fun with the boys, always incredible. And Brandon, <laughs> as always, packed up, ready to go, super energized. <laughs> he's a busy and, guy. He's a busy guy. But uh, you know. Great playing from them today. Uh, so much fun watching them, as always. As always, indeed. And as always, we got to thank all the lovely people who yep. make this show possible. Thank you for watching. There'd be no show if there was nobody to watch it, of course. So thank you very much for sticking by and enjoying all the action with us here tonight. Mm -hmm. Thank you to those in the back. We got Tommy, we got Aiden, and we got TJ mm -hmm. joining us and making all this action possible. And, of course, up here, hi, Brandon. <laughs> hi, Brandon. Sorry, I wish you guys could see him. Uh, we got Jordan. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for making this enjoyable. And myself, Daniil, also known as Better Mickey. Thank you very much for joining us. And of course, thank you to our lovely sponsors, HyperX, Tim Horton, Subway, the St. Clair SRC, and the Southern Care College uh, Alumni Association for making this show all possible. I believe tomorrow we have a game day, if I check the schedule correctly. Yes, we, we do. auction game day. Uh, we also have Academy TFT making Ooh, their debut on stream for the first time. That will be exciting. Time. Have collegiate action coming out for this first season. Excited to see how that goes for everybody. Mm -hmm. I'll be in the back working on it so you won't be able to see me tomorrow but you'll feel my influence as I make that show as enjoyable as possible for you. And again, thank you so much for joining us all. Before we wrap it up tonight, any closing thoughts, Jordan? Well, I, you know, thank you for being here with me. You know, it's always a pleasure getting to work with you. Thank you um, very much. You know, whether it's in the front, the back, wherever, always a pleasure. But close them out. All right. Well, I already said everything that needs to be said, everybody. Go home. Take care. Have a good night. Sleep. Eat popcorn. Do whatever you want to do. It's mm -hmm. your life. Live it to the fullest. And I hope you have an excellent night and an excellent life. Take care.